What's up guys, Winbro Beats, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys one simple trick that you can use to kind of set you up to make some really nice melodies. With that being said, let's hop into it. All right, so we can go ahead and get started. So BPM 140, doesn't matter too much. So what I'm gonna do is show you the trick first, um, and then we can just kind of, you know, make a melody with the rest of this stuff, okay? Uh, so let's, let's, uh, let's do A minor. Let's use like the bare bones scale. Um, and let's make sure we have enough room. We can close this. Um, so we're gonna start with this mallet. Um, now this is this is the preset I'm using, and it is in right here. Okay, so that is what I'm using. Just so y'all know that. All right, so with this little trick here, let's go to have beat, zoom in. Um, I've showed half of this before. Um, so easily we could just go on our root, do something like that. Okay. Um, so what you could do, right? Um, and this is to keep everything in harmony, right? Because sometimes when you just start with these random notes and you just click it around, um, you start to mess up the harmony um, of whatever your progression will be, okay? Um, so what you can do is make your first chord, right? And this is kind of the old way, right? And then what you would do is pull up any notes in between, right? So you would pull that up and then you would just kind of um, finish it that way, okay? And we can actually do that, right? Just to show people that don't know that method, so um, you could, we could pick two notes like that, right? Um, and then pull this up and then we would pretty much just pull it out like that. Um, now from here, what we could do is take this top note, copy it. Um, and the reason we do this, um, is just so everything at a certain point, okay. The harmony will overlap. So if you make a chord all the way up, once you hit a, even though this is on the same octave, it overlaps. So some of the free, the notes won't work well. So that is why we pull up this note. So we stay um, in our harmony, as you can see. So that's actually why we're doing this, okay? Um, and then from here, what you could do, you could either pull this down. Well, I guess that would be too low. We could probably just pull this out and then you can kind of have your melody. Okay, and that's pretty much like the older way. Um, so now, a little improved way um let's take this top note and let's pull this down okay so we have like a little bass and then we could probably all right um so now we're gonna make a seventh chord and this is gonna make it way faster and allow you to make more do more with this because this is a little bit locked in um so if you don't know how to make a seventh chord you can pretty much go up to the stamp if you're an fl and you can um if you're in a minor well, you'll have to figure out what chord is assigned to this, but um, there's two spaces in between this first note and the second note. So this is a E minor. So you would go to minor seventh, place that in. Okay. Um, and then from here, what we can do is take the very top note and the second note. Okay. It's very important. You can do these. And if you want to experiment, you could do the other ones. But um, for this to be consistent, take these, pull them up. And the same thing, you pull them over. Okay. And if you want to, you can add in betweens. Um, so if you want to add this, right, you can see everything is still in harmony. It works. You can add something like that. Um, we still need, let's see. Okay. And that's pretty much all you need to do. And you can make any type of melody with this. It doesn't need to be something like this. Um, it could be any type of melody. So I'm gonna finish this out. So remember, we could just do something like this. You can pull these up. Um, let's see. And let's do like a repeating sequence just to speed this up, because I want to I want to use some of these instruments. OK, it's pretty simple. So what we can do now is I'm going to just control B. Oops. It the wrong way. Control B these over. I um, mean, then we can just kind of uh, make a melody with these uh, instruments here. All right, so now we're gonna do our strings. Um, so this is the preset here, and I just have it set on MIDI channels. Now I'll do, I'll speed up the key switches because sometimes those take a while, but I'll real time the notes themselves 
Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is pull this down an octave. Um, just so we have more room for other instruments. Let's go in here and I'm gonna try to find like a little nice little something. And we could just use our root, honestly. Let's change that key. Um, and this is pretty much how you'll operate with these. Try one of these. Okay, I'm gonna copy these. something else. Okay, it's a lot smoother. I'm going to copy this over and then just kind of change this up. Change some of the velocities. That's the best I'm gonna do. Let's copy it over. Let's probably do on the other half. All right, so that is pretty much like key switches. I just want to at least try to show the key switches. So uh, we can kind of run through everything else. Let's add our subs and stuff. And then if we have time, we can just bounce around here, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna do our strings, low strings from the same little presets. Um, and then I also have a sub just to kind of get those low frequencies. So this is pretty easy. Matter of fact, let's just copy this. Make this simple. And literally just do that, copy this. Okay, that's the sub. So I'm gonna try to fill out these as quick as possible. Um, so let's move on to those. Next up, we have our horns. And I just chose a bunch of like orchestral instruments. Um, the great thing about this is you don't have to worry about if it'll sound good because they're built to sound good together. So um, let's let's see. some a little bit yeah that's good enough and then kind of like this one I don't know why it's not playing Okay, that's pretty good. Um, that works. Let's do one fourth.
Okay, I like that. Um, and then I'm gonna use these over here at the end. We'll fix that later. All right, pull it over. And then I'm gonna add that one note in. I kind of like this one. Okay, so those are the horns. Um, so I like that. So we can move on to the winds. Okay, so we have our winds. So what I went ahead and did is I picked out the, uh, this is the preset I'm using. Um, I went ahead and picked out the articulations that I liked. Um, and then we're just gonna use, so I'm gonna do this for the rest of them just so we can get through this quicker. Um, so I'm gonna just pull these over and I'm gonna just kind of pick from those um, cause it automatically changed. I wish there was a key, a shortcut for this. Um, so. Let's go a little smaller. copy this over i think that's pretty good and then we could just copy uh, this one in for variation okay i like that so let's move it over we're done with the winds and let's move on to the next instrument okay so now we have our bells and this is the same preset as the first one um i just changed the uh articulation so these are the ones i chose here and i can play them all just by clicking them okay um so i'm gonna just listen to where i want to put these and i kind of want to spread this stuff out i don't want everything playing at the same time Maybe add. I'm going to do a one fourth. It's not playing. Okay. I don't know why I wasn't playing. So we're going to just copy this over and just change some of the notes like we do with the flute. I'm going to pull these down like that. Pull these over. Um, let's, let's use these two. Let's do like this little thirds action. Okay, that's fine. So those are the wins. So lastly, we can just throw down our piano, which would be easy. We just throw some notes in. Okay, so here's the piano that I have here. All right. Um, so this should be easy. No articulations. We could just throw in any notes. Um, so I just muted some stuff so we can just have some easy to listen to.
All right. Okay, so I think that should be good. And we just change some of these notes up. Let's just replace this one. And chord backwards. Throw these in. Simple. And to finish it off, so it's like a loop. Okay, so let's listen to the whole thing. I'm gonna just leave it at that. Um, so listen to the whole thing. All right, just something fun to make for once. Uh, let's listen. Obviously, some sounds don't go well together at this plan at the same time, but it's gonna be for this video. Hopefully, it's helpful. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.